What's up guys? My name is Mad Squash 924 Welcome back to another episode of some Resident Evil 4. This is now part 11 of our Let's Play thus far. And in the last episode, we came to the castle and, well, uh, actually got taken. Typical, right? Who would have thought? Okay. Found some shotgun rounds, which is a very good thing, because, um, kind of need them. Admittingly, amongst other things. So where does this take us exactly? Okay. It's probably fine. I said that, but now I don't feel so fine. <laughs> um, looks like there's stuff over there. What the fuck is that? And why is it running? Why are you running? I'm nervous. Hello? Don't like it. There's stuff over here, so might as well go here first. Probably safe. So far, so good. It wasn't safe. Ew! What the fuck is that thing? It's freaking disgusting. How am I supposed to see it? I only kind of guessed where it was. That's not good. Fuck. Oh, I think I saw it. Damn you! Run! Run, 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 run! so hard to see. It blends in with the environment. Hey, nice. Where's the other one? I hear it. Ah, there you are. We got him. I gotta tell you, that was pretty awful. Ew, TMP rounds? Gross. The hell am I gonna use TMP rounds for? Disgusting! Okay, now we're in a big open room. Okay, so let's take our next left and then explore that way. Great! Hopefully this will take him out faster. Oh yeah. Much better. Two shots. Fuck. Damn you! Stay dead. Boy, we're pretty hurt, aren't we? Green side. Um, not good. Nervous. Run it back. I saw it. Green's eye. What do we do with the green's eye? Can we combine it with anything? I guess not. 
One would think you'd be able to, but I guess no. Okay, so what is in this direction? Treasures of untold power. Ooh. Treasure? Hmm. Okay, so we got a butterfly lamb. Can we combine these eyes with the slit with this stuff? Yes, we can. Okay. And it looks like that's completed. One, two, three. Yeah, there's all the slots. Okay. Nice. I'm pleased with that. Yeah, drain the water. Duh. Of course we're going to drain the water. Excellent. Let's get going, shall we? Not cool. Um, sick of this. No, thank you. Really? They're so freaking annoying. Another one. Fuck me. I do not like what the hell that was. Bitch. Enough is enough. Fucking relax, bro. Am I right? Or am I right? Because guess what? I'm right. Oh, yeah. Eh. Lewis's memo. There are some parasites that have the ability to control their hosts. It is basic knowledge amongst the biologists, but not much is known as to how the parasites do it. However, studying the parasites specifically might reveal some clues to as how the powers of the Las Plagas work, and perhaps provide more insight on the victims of the Las Plagas, the Las Ganados. Here is a list of some parasites that have the ability to manipulate the behavioral patterns of their host. The Dichrocelium. Once the larvae of this parasite migrates to an ant's esophagus, it alters the behavior of the ant, and when the temperature drops in the evening, the infected ant climbs to the top of a plant and clamps onto a leaf using its mandible. It stays there immobile until the next morning, placing the ant where it's most vulnerable to be eaten by a browsing herbivore such as sheep. One can conclude that the parasite is manipulating the host behavior to make it away into the body of its definite host. Definitive host. The Galactosimum. The larvae of this parasite makes its home inside the brain of a fish, such as the yellowtail and the parrot pass. Once infected, the fish makes their way up to the water's surface where they'll swim until eaten by seabirds. Like Once again, this peculiar behavior can only be explained by the parasite's desire to get into the bodies of the seabirds. And the Leuchloridium. This parasite's perosis develop into the snail's tentacles. The sporosis are vivid in color and pulsate continually somewhat like a worm. Surprisingly, the infected snail makes its way to the top of a plant where it is more viable, more visible to the eyes of birds, therefore more likely to be eaten. And of course, once eaten by a bird, the parasite will complete its metamorphosis into an adult. Okay, is that what we're fighting? Those ant things? Kind of, I suppose. You better be dead, bro. Yep. 
It looks like he was alive until just recently, judging by the wound, it was a quick death. Big quickie. Great. Love it, hate it, whatever. Oh, Granada. For me. Okay, so let's reorganize a little bit here. Okay. Let's do some placements. Looks good. Probably should reload this. I'm expecting more bugs. <laughs> Fuck off. That's not cool. Bastard. Go on, use this. Stupid asshole. At least we're getting treasures, but still. Do I use this? Get more max HP? I think so. Something's over there. Oh. Excellent. Now what the hell's happening? Hello? Are you freaking serious right now? Thing that would have been if I died. Also, that was like oddly easy, but oddly enough, it was um, not necessary. What was a sense fortress? Jeez, get out of here. Ridiculous. Thank goodness we finally got some rifle ammo. Being concerned. Where are we in the map? Okay, looks like we're about to go there. Okay! There's the treasure. How are we gonna get in there? That's my question, right? I guess it's time to take some boys out, eh? Let's do it. He has a special item on him. You think he can get in here? Or do you think they're gonna start jumping? Ha! Huh. I think I messed up. It's weird that there's an implica- oh! I didn't even realize there was a, uh, ladder. Bitch. I know! Life is hard. Clearly, though, we are meant to, um, go across the chandelier. But. Ah! Why waste ammo on this guy, right? <laughs> we got a spinel. Another spinel. And this is now locked. Kaiser. You think if we go in this room and come back, the um, mysterious stranger man will come out? Because obviously we can't buy from him in this room. No. Okay. 
Well, not a big deal. Let's save at least. It can't be that important, whatever the hell he had, right? Hmm. I don't know. Or maybe it was so important. Regardless, this ladder was not here before. There he is. He just moves up a level. What's up, dude? Um. Oh. So I guess there was no point even going over there except... Oh, hello. I didn't even realize there was two chandeliers. An elegant mask. What can we put in that? Yeah, I so weird. Nice. I assume. Gosh, damn it. <laughs> I assume that means these gates up above are now unlocked. Yes, both of them are, in fact. Welcome. Yo. Got some rare things on. What are you buying? We'll find out. Um, looks like nothing, because I'm not upgrading the riot gun. What are gun. you buying? What are you selling? TMP rounds, Is sir. Is that all straight? <laughs> Thank you. I think so, actually, yeah. 32,000? Holy shit, dude. What are you buying? You have any. No, you don't have any first aid spray. That sucks. Come back any time. Okay. So what is in this section? A lot of stuff. I hear dudes. Am I taking? The Castelli Memo. For many years, the Salazar family has served as the Castellans of this castle. However, not everything is bright, for my ancestry has dark past. Long ago, there was once a religious group that had deep roots in this region called the Los Illuminados. Unjustly, however, the first Castellan of the castle took away their rights and powers. And as a follower of this religion, and as the 8th Castellan, I felt that it was my duty as well as my responsibility to atone for that sin. I knew the best way to atone for the sin was to give power back to those who we once took it away from, the Las Illuminados. As expected, it took a little time, but we were able to rejuvenate the once sealed Las Plagas. With this success, I was one step closer to the revival of the Las Illuminados. The reason, however, why I released the Las Plagas from the deep under this castle and gave them to Lord Sadler was not only to repay for the sins of my ancestors, but I felt a certain that the Lord would make better use of this power to help save the world. To save those who have sinned with the power of the Las Plagas and to cleanse their souls, creating a world without sinners, the way it was meant to be. Once cleansed, they will become one of the many ganados where they will find their reason to live. And after the Lord has succeeded in creating the world in which he has envisioned, then the sins of my Salazar family will be atoned for. What a load of shit. Time like the present. He has the key. The same dude. Oh boy. That's probably fine. This is sure a fucky room.
Where'd he go? Second could stay there. I don't care. There you are. Here he comes. There he is. He's in that door. I don't see anybody else. Nobody above me anyway. Except for that guy. I don't know what the hell his plan is, but I like where he is, you know? He just relaxes. I can get behind that. Okay, is that everything that's in this room? Besides the assholes that I gotta go and try to chase down for the key? I think so. Okay, what does this room even look like? Kind of messed up, actually. So we gotta go this way? Okay. Does this open or nope? Let's reload our rifle. Might as well use the rifle on him. Not bad. Okay, now we're on the upper floor. So he should be in there, yes. Beautiful. A lot more rifle rounds. Why do I love it? Well, obviously, because it's like the best gun. It's just that good, you know? Okay. I don't see any secret treasures either, like, anywhere. Which is good, in retrospect. I don't know what the purpose of this thing being here is. You know? Oh, okay. That's why he couldn't get to me. Makes sense. And I was running away. Okay. <laughs> so he's annoying, I get it. I'm just gonna be doing this running away shit for a while, huh? Where'd he go, anyway? A little freak. You think you're gonna be able to run away, especially if you stand in place? That's like, cool. Well, he ran away. You know, I didn't think I was literally gonna be chasing bitches down, but. Ooh. But well, here we are. Chasing bitches down. Where'd he go? Down below? No. He ran this way. You ignorant prick. Where did you come from? Die. Traps, man. Oh. Hmm. I'll go back upstairs. Ew. Ow, that fucking hit me, dude. No way. Ew.
This is crap. Are you serious? Is that the first time we've, we've legitimately died? I think so. Where does that put us? <laughs> Somewhere I don't want to be, frankly. Okay. We read this. Great. I love replaying things. Did I pick that up before? I don't remember. That's great. you all right let's try this again eh of course Odd that they come out of their throat, is it not? Or is that out of their mouth? I can't tell. Oh, this guy actually wants to do something this time. That's okay. Nothing wrong with that. Okay, let's do this quickly. Because, you know, we already did this. This time, I'm not going to be surprised by a literal freaking turret. Nothing else, right? Looks like that's it. Um. Eh. Shut up. Where the shield guy even came from. Oh, right, there was like stuff over here. Right. Yep, that's great. Come forth. Probably get a couple shots off of him first. I have to deal with this stupid asshole again in here. Not this time, I remember. Okay, so how do I want to play this out? Do I want to let him use the, the minigun again and just be up above? Or do I want to be down here? I don't know. Either way, it's nerve-wracking. I can probably use a magnum.
right? Oh wow, it does look really hard to hit him from down here though. No, let's go back up. That looks like a mistake waiting to happen. Okay. What if I just run? Nope, 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 nope. I need this. I got him. Thank goodness. What a jerk. <sighs> okay. But I need just a way to do it. Okay. That's okay. I wasted two shots with this thing. But that's okay. And yeah, I didn't exactly hit him with the magnum, but whatever. Let's head back to the safe point, shall we? Oh, we're supposed to go back that way, looks like. Eh, it's okay. Let's head to the save point over here first. Not a big deal. Anyways, I think this is a good spot for us to end today's episode of Resident Evil 4. I hope you guys all enjoyed today's episode. If you guys have, make sure you guys leave a like and a comment. Tell me what you guys think of today's episode, and if you're new to my channel or haven't watched me for a little while and you haven't done so as of yet, feel free to subscribe to me, MadSquash924, over on YouTube, and don't forget to ring the bell as well to get notified of my latest videos. On our next episode, um, we'll start the next episode by that same room where we got the key, so I'll run there uh, off camera, which, you know, doesn't take long. Um, and um, we'll try to find Ashley and get the hell out of this castle, I guess, and kill Salazar. That's what we're trying to do. But I'll see you then. Goodbye.